Welcome to my shop. So today what we're doing is uh, on creating slash unboxing this uh, new machine that I, I bought. Uh, it's a drum sander. Uh, this drum sander is from uh, CWI. This is the 17 inch uh, sander. Uh, this model is fully enclosed. Uh, CWI doesn't have like the open side like the 1632 or the 2244. I did look into those models, but there were some features I didn't like about those models. Um, as you can see, it comes in a crate. It's very, very well. Everything is very secured in there. Uh, nothing moved during shipping because I went and picked it up myself. And it came, uh, got put in my uh, trunk and came out the same way and without moving. The, the head is bolted up on, the, on the skid itself preventing it to move uh, there was no scratch on the paint I look I'm really fussy so <laughs> uh, I didn't find any scratches uh, the the whole thing was mint uh, condition when it got to my house um, there, there it requires a bit of assembly uh, but as you see the head part is fully assembled and ready to go and by ready to go I mean there's already uh, a strip of sandpaper on the drum uh, the 5 inch drum which is extremely well machined um, the CWI is a Canadian company CWI me, uh, stands for Canadian Woodworking International um, I'm Canadian and I like to shop local I like to help smaller businesses and, and so I, I usually try to stay away as much as I can from big box stores but uh, uh, so in this case, I was really happy to be able to find uh, a machine of this level of quality uh, in my price range, and that was Canadian owned. Uh, it's not Canadian made; uh, it's built in uh, Taiwan. Uh, but the company that owns the CWI is Canadian, so uh, that was one of the one one of the features that I really really like about this machine. Uh, you can see the feeding belt and you, you, you uh, the, sorry, not the feeding belt, the feeding mat. Uh, you'll see a close up uh, further down. This is the exact same material that they use on their industrial level uh, sanders, and it, it's just amazing. Like the thickness and the, like nothing slips, and it's, it's a very, very nice uh, uh, belt. Uh, like all the features of this machines are like. Uh, like uh, are what you're paying for there's nothing uh, missing like they there's a four inch dot dust port collection on top the five inch drum is like uh, extremely extremely well machined there's a very very sturdy base uh, as you can see uh, the person that helped me put the top on there didn't want to be in the video so that's why you don't see uh, you don't see the that part but uh, that you need you need uh, a helper like maybe even two like it, it, the whole machine itself is 230 pounds so like the the head part is probably close to 200 pounds so the motor requires only uh, 120 volt um, it needs to be uh, on a 20 amp breaker uh, so it's it it's perfect for a small shop like mine because this is usually with big, big machinery something that you struggle with you either have to redo some electrical you need to add a 220 plug or whatever so I was really happy that this one came with just a 110 um, there's a 4 inch port uh, dust collection uh, they uh, say in the manual that you should have 750 uh, CFM to uh, pick up all the dust my uh, dust collection system is a portable it's a one horsepower which means it's under that and it's older so it's probably quite a bit under the requirement uh, therefore when I use it I will be uh, slowing the feed process uh, the, the feeding rate sorry uh, to accommodate that and I already uh, you'll see at the end of the video I already tried it and there was like there was no issues with the dust. It, wa it wasn't a full width, but like the the, the feed rate I, I use and the board that I I went went through uh, kind of came out very nicely. So.
thanks everybody for watching. So this here, this is the only new addition to my shop, but uh, I think it's gonna help a lot in uh, uh, producing my instruments and other projects that I have. So I want to thank you guys for watching again, and uh, there's gonna be a subscribe button, obviously, and uh, I hope to see you around.